Championship 2023 Women's Full A Third String Match. Karina Koskinen of Finland to serve. Maya Weissart of Germany to receive. First to five games, level. One love. Oh, the Finnish team does have a slight advantage here, Perky. Just they played this morning on the glass court. They actually play, I believe they play all their matches here on the glass. So definitely going to get themselves and, uh, pretty comfortable. Well, quite right as well. You would you know, want to do that, being the home nation. Get uh, the fans behind you and the, the crowds will build. It's always great to have squash in a, in a shopping mall because you do just get that footfall and perhaps people that have never seen it before uh, become interested. It's fantastic to see uh, earlier, we w I went to a sports bar at the, other, at the other end to get some lunch and every sc screen was showing the squash. Yeah, you hope that at least, you know, it attracts a handful of people to, to join the sport and be fascinated by it and to continue on. And that's, you know, that's how the game grows and, and more people keep playing or get introduced to the game. And now, two, three. Well, there was, there was a time a long, a long way back when I first started playing for England that uh, the Finnish men were a real force to be reckoned with and they reached... Um, a few finals back in the day. And out four two. Kind of dropped off a little bit in terms of a team. They still had Oli Tuman, of course, but yeah. he was kind of like a bit of a one-man team. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Karina uh, Kuskinen <laughs> actually is coached by Oli. So oh, okay. Uh, five two. Yeah, the women are looking uh, pretty strong these days. Yeah, I was impressed with the way they they came out firing in the matchup this morning and. Really, if there was a lesson in in how to start start a match, they were certainly up for the task. Six, two. But slightly different sort of trajectory here at the moment. Will Koskinen be, be tired at all yeah, after her match, do you think? or just? I don't think so. I mean, the rallies were... The first game was, was fairly lengthy with going to tie break 13-11, but then after that, it seemed pretty straightforward for Lauren Batayab, so I don't think she would have gotten too much mileage in her legs. But it's also, you know, it's also the adrenaline of everything and, and rising to the occasion that has a certainly has an emotional and mental toll on, on your body too. Absolutely. It's getting on court in front of, uh, well, it's her hometown, as I said, mm -hmm. Helsinki, playing in this kind of environment. So it must be a real thrill, but it's uh, it's up. pretty tiring as well emotionally. Nine, two. Yeah, it's a great opening game here for the youngster from Germany. She is only 16 years old, but has made her debut for uh, Germany back at the the World Teams last year. She does have some senior senior caps under her belt. Thank you. Not up. Hand out. Yeah, I was commentating there actually, but I'm not sure that uh, she and Germany made it to the mm -hmm. to the main court. I'm impressed with her today. And out, ten three, game ball. Just stayed in. Nice, That's touch, nice touch, yeah, from the back of the court, nice and tight. Good squeeze there from Weisha. And a great start for Germany. So there you have it, the first game, Maya Weisha taking it very comfortably, 11-3 in just five minutes. She leads by one game to love. Well, the youngster from Germany will be pleased with that opening game, just getting the jitters out on her on the glass court here, really finding her length. Great touch into the front of the court, really exposing the movement of Kuskinen and making uh, quick work of this opening game. 
Hannah just taking it 11-3. So she'll be looking to continue with that momentum moving forward in this match. Bit of a shot to nothing, that one. How much do you know about these these players? Have you, s have you seen them much before? Or? These two players, no, haven't. Obviously, the junior circuit, players being being so young and you know not much of the, of the tournaments that they play are, are live streamed, so you don't often get exposed to them. Um, obviously, I've have heard of Christina before, but I don't believe she actually plays that much on the Pro Tour anymore and um, probably does some other things. Most of her results on Squash, squash Info are, are mostly from team events. Yeah. Um, obviously, though, some of the other, the other players in the team are slightly better. spoke earlier you know about some of the added pressure that does exist when you play team events I'm sure you remember that Parky as well and of going from being sort of this individual player competing on the on the tour and then representing your country and and playing for a team it's, it's certainly got an added element to it definitely and people respond in in, in different ways mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to love it I mean I would feel perhaps a little more nervous than I normally would but that would help me yeah and you know, you know, it's such an individual sport, and you travel the world on, on your own most of the most of the year. So to sort of play for your mates and then support your your mates when they're on court, I, right. I used to love that. Yeah, that atmosphere definitely played better in an England shirt. I think a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean, you see that earlier as well with with the women's team too, with Amelia Sony, 40, 46 in the world, nearly beating uh, Melissa Alves, top twenty in the world, and then. Ika Pahar is beating uh, Victor Curran, you know, anything can happen in these team events and that makes it so exciting. Yeah, and similarly, you know, it can work the other way. People are just so hyped up and so Hi. nervous mm -hmm. that, you know, there's a few people, I don't really want to mention any names, that, that <laughs> <laughs> get a bit of a glass arm and kind of can't, can't cope with the pressure and it's not, you know, obviously you don't want to see that, but yeah. definitely does happen the other way. Well, better response here from Kiskinen in the second game. Just finding, as you mentioned, just a little bit of that relaxation as well through the arm, through the swing. Does enjoy the power hitting. Yeah, she gave that one a good wallop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just has to make sure that she can find that depth. I like the way she strikes her backhand. Has a little bit of trouble straightening the ball out on the forehand side. whip just so hard to react to aren't they those kind of boasts just whipping it in there yeah especially on the on the glass too the you know the side walls usually suck the ball in it is for both these players obviously Skinner had a slight advantage earlier this morning but for both players they would not be so familiar playing on glass courts Just 
trying to figure out whether she's appealing her own shot or her opponent's <laughs> shot. I was just going to ask you what what I what's I actually going on, Chanel. I think she was. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a bit more on it than I am. Doesn't take much. I'm trying to uh, to read the body language of both players to try and figure out what I've just missed. I thought she's appealing the boast. That, that, that looked, looked like a double. double. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the problem. So that's what she's appealing. Yeah, Vaisha should really. Yeah, she puts the two fingers up as does Vaisha. Yeah, that's. She's, she looks confused. I mean, that's a definite double bounce. So we'll see it here. There's been a couple of occasions today, Chanel, where <laughs> the communication hasn't been that great. I mean, that's down that's and, and a scoop. <laughs> yeah, it's always the first day, Parky, as <laughs> we <Yeah>. all uh <laughs> try and figure out our own ways and uh, get into the groove of things. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. I think we could have done, done that a bit quicker. <laughs> oh, talking of speed, that she was onto yeah. that like lightning. Oh, I do have to remind myself, she is only 16. She should be moving like that. Well, the glasses should uh, <laughs> to help you help you do that. That was quite a junior shot, wasn't it? You know yeah. when the, the ball gets really deep to the to the back wall and players still try and do a full swing sometimes, try and hit, you know, knock the stuffing out of the ball. Yeah, it's got to lift it. Yeah, and it's also you know the dropping dropping the hips too. It's yeah. it's not coming down on that ball enough. She wanted to chop down on it from a pretty high up position. It's, it's tough to do. Drop shot was nifty though. the forehand pickup I think we're just having a look yeah. at. Oof. It was very uh, kind of untidy, wasn't it? Yeah. That looks like double parking. Well, spot on today. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you've got your glasses on. I need to put mine on. Getting old. <laughs> Just holding on to this one point cushion again. There's that shot trying to go really low from a standing up position, very upright. Yeah. So, two game balls for Finn. That's heavy movement, yeah, under pressure there. She was under the cosh there. So, one ga game ball saved. sort of gave up before uh, she knew where her opponent was. That's a good response from Koskinen. Delighting the home crowd by taking that second game, 11-9 in nine minutes. The score is one game apiece.
What's your gut feeling here, Chanel? One all with these two. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if I'm going to base it off that shot, I'm going to go Koskinen in <laughs> four. <laughs> no, but I do think she just needed that, you know, just the ability to find her length and her quality a little bit better. I, I don't think it's going to be a straightforward match. But I'm going to go Koskinen in five. Ooh. times just a little bit labored into mm -hmm. that front right yeah the first the first reaction step the first step is like a little bit slow a little bit delayed Down. yeah no, going one too soon there by sure that's also you know a little bit more structure to her play and then allows her to attack she wants to go short she has a good attacking game it's just a matter of, of varying it and that comes with more experience well that's excellent good width good awareness wasn't it mm -hmm. of the incoming volleyer yeah I had to <laughs> yeah. to be that wide but yeah you're right it's, it's, it's quite often the case with with juniors isn't it they can have a lot of talent Five, but two. it takes a bit longer to to learn more of the structure and the patience mm -hmm. uh, in the game some some juniors do have it, but they're usually the really the really special ones. Yeah, and it's it's playing events like this, right, where you also are are playing alongside teammates who are on the professional tour. Saskia Beinhardt obviously has been doing a good job of, of climbing the rankings as well, and and would be a good uh, a good role model for for Vaishar to have. Sure. Great. Has a beautiful touch in front right. Yeah, it's like in the England men's team now, of course, we, we have yeah. Mohamed Al-Shabagi. So uh, whatever he does on the court is going to be just as valuable as what he does off the court with uh, some of those younger players, yeah. like Curtis Malik and, and Charlie Lee. Charlie Lee actually beat him recently, but you can still learn a lot from uh, from the guy. Yeah, I mean, what an opportunity for them to play si play alongside him. Oof. There's a funky hit. <laughs> I have to remember that phrase. <laughs> My coaching. Yeah, she's not, not getting width on that cross court and also really easy to read that ball coming in she just you know you can put in the straight drop or the straight drive or the straight drive yeah, because she's coming in at the, yeah. the sort of angle for a cross court That's just stayed in oh dear me Straighten out. Oh, that's a nice finish. Very no, coolly no, done no, by no, the youngster. Yes, left. I'm a little bit fortunate. I've seen those not given. 
Chanel. There wasn't much interference. Oh, I thought if she just played the ball straight, it should have won the win, point win the outright. Point. Yeah. It's tight. Pips have played through that. Very nice. Well weighted. Game balls now for Vice Shark. Yeah, she's just looking a little bit sharper than her opponent. Again, laboured movement there, and it's good. It's the right shot from the young German. She's in po pole position here in Helsinki. Taking that third game, 11 6 in six minutes. Vice leads by two games to one. Well, a quick third game there for the young German player who's really attacking sharply into the front of the court. He's played some excellent balls with the drop shot and then whipping the ball cross to expose the movement of Gurkian. She'll want to continue with this momentum now, not have any lapse in concentration. Has the ability to close this out in four and get her team on the board. So I'm sure we'll see some really sharp play from her heading into into this fourth game she needed just six minutes to secure that Germany to serve. Level. I still think Koskinen. I mean, she could obviously do it, but. Yeah, I think she needs to extend the rallies. It's uh, and she's opening up the court too soon. So if she can play a little bit straighter for longer and then just yeah, try and try and sort of squeeze the error from her opponent, then she might have some success out there. But I don't know the the youngster seems up to the task here, closing this out. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice shot. But just initially, the cross court there was right onto yeah. the volley of the youngster and gave her that setup at the front. It's a real crisp start for Vaisha in this fourth. Yeah, there's that slightly heavier movement into that front corners. like to see what happens if she does mix up the pace more. Don't, don't think that's a natural part of, of her game, but it could be interesting, when, especially when you play the, the juniors, they don't always respond very well to, to that variation. That's, that's a nervy drop. Yeah, that's the best, best way to try and sort of counter a fast game, isn't it? And, uh, mm -hmm. Just ask your opponent some difficult questions. Got away with that one. Felt like uh, the straight would have again been the better option. 
can see Vaisha already making a way over for that cross. Smart. Could Smart. be a bit of a mini comeback here. The back right has seemed slightly deader than the back left earlier this morning. I don't know if that was it was a little bit colder maybe, but Yeah, and I think um, Vaishar just needs a bit of help technically in that back right. It's like, like like I said with a lot of juniors, just trying to do the full swing and not really kind of bending the knees into the shot. That's better. Yeah, it's a brilliant That's comeback. Better. That's a nice pattern of play. Five, Lift that ball up, step forward, look for the volley drop. That was with great, great intent, wasn't it? <laughs> that volley. Such positivity. Oh, that's a tough shot. Yeah, that's silly, silly shot from there. Just hitting a leg in, in disgust there after that attempted boast. So right back in this now, Koskinen. She was five love down in this fourth. That's hasty. Took her space nicely there. Seven all. It's so easy to sometimes overhit those balls when they're <laughs> in the middle of the court. You think you have more uh, more space and time than what you might. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get a little bit excited. Yeah. Well, she's uh, she's finding her stride now. <laughs> Importance of the serve, Parky. <laughs> How many times did you get that drilled into you? Yeah. Straight onto the racket, wasn't it? Let's be careful with that cross court as well. Nine, eight. Do like that she's trying to vary the pace and throw it in high, but I'd rather like to see her doing that onto from the forehand onto her backhand. Another lucky bounce. Starting to hit with a bit more power again, the youngster, and yeah. that's that bow. She loves that shot. As long as it's not too close to the back wall, she's quite dangerous there. Yeah, as soon as it lands in the service box yeah. area, that's sort of the, the happy zone for her. So two match balls for Vaisha. Whips that straight. Situation. She was just slightly off balance there, wasn't she? So that's where you have to learn to lift it a little bit and just walk back to the tee, take your time. It's a nice return. Oh, another one. <laughs> Wowzers. She's not going away, Koskinen. Just clipped, didn't it? So another match ball for the German teenager. Can she convert this time? Oh, wow. wow. Just stuck her arm out, didn't she, for yeah. that one? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was completely intentional, but great reactions from Koskinen. That's outstanding. the overhitting coming again. Yeah, I'm not sure that one was. That was just a get, wasn't it? Just needs to reset. That definitely well wasn't. Done. There's the apology. Well just done. coming off the frame there slightly, but she did well to get there. Well, she'll take that. Absolutely. So a game, got a game ball for Koskinen. Front of a home crowd here, but she, oh, she did. She reacted just in time. She's gonna get there. It's just over hit. Oh, that's nice. And, uh, well that's played a cool that shot. Yeah, played that from behind her too. Yeah. You can see it turns the body. 
hides the ability for the opponent to see the ball. It's impressive stuff from the 16-year-old. Beautiful. That's good volley, nice volley, good control. Feet were nice and still. Mm -hmm. She's very positive on that backhand. I do think her backhand is is better than her forehand, and if she can really try and capitalize on that. Yeah, because Vaisha is very strong on her forehand as yeah. well, isn't she? Yeah, and she struggles. She does. Uh, she often tries to boast herself out of trouble in the back, but that's a great bounce. Yeah, it's a perfect length. Just got the right line. Just, just nicking behind the service box. And winning the point, taking that into a decider, Koskinen. Just being helped. A few words of advice from her team. Taking the fourth game, 14 12 in the tie break, and it's two games apiece. Well, what a turn of events here in this fourth game. Vaishar had her name written all over this game as well as possibly the match too, but Kiskinen managed to climb her way, really crawl her way back into this match and into taking it to five. Found her length, really capitalized on some re great volleys on the backhand side and just looked like she has a, a spring in her step now as she heads over into the fifth game. Obviously it's gonna be now a, both a mental and a physical test. Will the youngster be able to rise to the challenge here? I will be the home girl taking home the victory. Well, your prediction is still on here, Chanel. Had a little talk to the Finnish team in, in between the sets. When she was five love down and yep. fourth. <laughs> yep. One love. I mean, what an opportunity here to play in front of your home crowd. needs to stay really disciplined here because he didn't work that ball into the back of the court, expose some of the technical aspects. Just, she holds a grip quite low as well, yeah, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Raisha. So it's going to be a, like a longer lever, which is obviously beneficial when you're trying to really thump the ball, yeah. but when you're in the corners... We well, see so many of the of the pro players now also, you know, shifting the the grip up and and making that technical change to the game. Anyone and everyone on the pro tour now can hit the ball hard, right? That's not necessarily a, a differentiating factor unless, of course, you're Norn Gohar. But <laughs> um, yeah, she's uh, quite terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's no longer you know the separating factor between these players. So no. those technical changes make make sense. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, she used the strings there. It was a nice uh, early preparation there from the youngster. Yeah, it does have the ability to soften the ball, right, and take the pace off. It's just a matter of whether or not she can do that when she's under pressure, in pressured situations. Seems to resort to the, the hard low hitting, which does result in, in quite a few unforced errors. 
But one thing I'm impressed with, whether she wins or loses this match, is her attitude by Sha. She's, Definitely. she's, you know, it's for, for a teenager, teenagers can, you know, can get, can get pretty emotional. But she's keeping her cool and she's sticking in there, and staying very determined. Absolutely, great fighting spirit as well. Oh dear. Should have should have asked there, but just about managed to get a racket on the ball. Oh, interesting movement there from my Shar. What was the serve there? I mean the yeah. serve. Just a bit careless. Crucial error, Perky. Six four. Well, this is where you've just got to have a little walk around, a little uh, mm -hmm. sort of few deep breaths, and, and try and reset. I know she's only two points down, but of course we're in the deciding set here. Oh, she absolutely wallops that ball. She really does. That's where if I was in Koskinen's shoes, just wouldn't be trying to play too many boasts, you know, because it's got to be absolutely spot on. I'm just giving her time to line it up. Yeah, and we saw in the previous game how she was sort of utilizing the pace against against Oshan instead of uh, trying to add to it. Smart choice. There it is, that variation can break up the rhythm of the player and especially when you're on the junior side as well. Not used to players being able to do that. That's nice, beautiful. That's nice. Soft hands. Just how a that's good little dink, wasn't it? Yeah. A little tap into the corner. It's nothing fancy. It's very effective. Away. She's missed it. Got unlucky there. Nine, six. Really would keep that ball away from the young German's forehand. Ah, it's a good hold. Yeah. She had to win that point, Vaisha. She's had a couple of off off missed opportunities in this fifth. This is a crucial rally for both players. So Got to watch that whip there, Koskinen. A nervy, nervy volley drop. Oh man! Oh wow! I, yeah, I, th I thought she got that. I, I did think that was double, but well, you could see the coach was on his feet, wasn't de he? <laughs> deceived me. Initially, I thought she was moving a little slowly to it. I mm -hmm. thought she wasn't going to get it, but let's have because a look. Because she holds the racket so low, it could be that it, yeah, it she's able out. to extend it. Let's see. I think it popped out, you know. Yeah, it she yeah, got it. It was, a, it was a kind of a funny bounce, wasn't it? It looked like it nicked, but popped up a bit. Good. Decision overruled. Germany has one review remaining. Uh, from the left, Germany. Well, they'll play that point over because the referee did uh, call the ball before. Not good, so. Ah, uh, so they're playing a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice touch. It's the right shot. Just got the right angle. Yeah, I needed that to be <laughs> to drop in the nick. Yeah, you could see she was just playing that shot with a little bit of extra care. That's 
nice. Yeah, it was. That's very nice. Oh, that. This is tense. Oh, that is a lovely shot. Well done. That is brilliant. Gutsy shot there from the youngster, and it's given Vaisha a match ball here. It's target hitting that. It's not a bad serve. That was really good work. Really good work. That's a huge win for Vaisha, the German teenager. Just 16 years of age, a lot of potential. German team absolutely delighted with her efforts. As Maya Vaisha comes through 11 3, 9 11, 11 6, 12 14, 11 9, 3 2 in 41 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, Maya Vaisha 3 2, very, very tough match. I give you a small breath. Ooh, what a match, what a match, what a thriller. Um, what was the main reason you won this match? So I can say that uh, before the match started, I was very nervous because it's my first match of the tournament. And yeah, my first match for, not my first match, but one of my first matches for the national team. And I think I never stopped to believe in myself. I always try to keep positive And I think that could be a reason. <laughs> What do you think about playing uh, in this kind of a shopping center? It's a beautiful place. I like it that the hotel is next to this uh, court. And the court is also very nice, and the crew is also perfect, so I like it. Thank you very much. Let's give a big applause. Congratulations.